All right, so in algebra, substitution is when you change a pronumeral or a variable into a number. So when we start, a variable or a pronumeral is an unknown number, but then um, we substitute in a known value for that number. So for example, you might have something like a plus four, and you're told that a equals three. So you would be given information around what a is. Then we would go, we would change a to a three, and we would add it to four, and we would get the number seven. In this second example, we've got five a. From a previous video, we know that if these are touching, it's multiplication, so it would become five times three. We're getting our three from up here, and five times three is 15. In this example here, again, we're gonna change our a to three because that's the value we've been given. So we're gonna go 12 over three, which is the same thing as division, we're going to get um, four for this one. In this one, we have a subtraction. So we would again, change our A to a three, take away two, and we would be left with one. You might get a more complicated problem. So it might be something like this. Again, you're gonna look at the values that you've been given. So we would go three times four plus four times five minus eight. Our x we've turned into a four and our y we've turned into a five, which gives us 12 plus 20 minus eight, gives us 24. You might get even a more complicated one again. The same process still applies. You just change your pronumerals into the given number. So we get eight times four to the power of three plus four times five, plus the square root of five times five. So I've changed my x to a four in both of these situations and I've changed my y to a five in both of the situations. Then it's just a matter of working out each individual component, which is going to give us this. So the key piece of information is that substitution is just when you've been given a value putting it into your expression and then solving to find what it equals.